Hello and welcome back. Another episode of Fallout. Uh, we're on episode three. I'm excited. We just... Well, we didn't see it, but we cut a guy's head off. We're, <laughs> the plot's thickening. Dogs have been resurrected. Ghouls are on the way. Um, fucking knights have been crashing into backyards. The last one I'm a little bit more unsure of if where that happened. But, um, yeah, Lucy cut the fucker's head off and it was crazy and he's got a chip in his neck and he also knew things about about, about our vault and I'm freaking out because there's so many things that I want to know questions I have things I hope we learn about and figure out going for like I'm I'm all really excited I'm really excited to see where this goes what we're going to learn um Again, I don't know how it connects to the game, if all the lore, like, makes sense for the game, like, to what, like, in compared to that, I don't know, but, um, I'm just excited, I, I'm really enjoying Lucy's storyline, the ghoul, they're all kind of intersecting and connecting, um, Maximus, uh, hasn't really got there for me as much, because, I don't know, there's just something about, but I feel like they're all going to interweave a lot more, so they'll all just be one story, um, but they kind of set up, like, you know, Maximus, Lucy, and the ghoul guy, um, which was his name, like, Hawk or something at the start, I don't remember, uh, but Lucy is definitely, at the moment, like, I'm, like, I'm the most interested, and I want to learn more about the vaults, the vaults seem just like some really big mystery that I really want to know more about, um, but other than that, we should get into it, uh, if you'd like to watch the full-length reaction, I have a link to my Patreon down below, <laughs> like and subscribe, and let's get into it. Oh, Colin. Bring an order to the yeah. wild, wild west. Uh, hey, let's, uh, let's pick this up after lunch, right? Okay. Uh, we're more interested in other things. You gonna save any of that grape taffy for the rest of us? It's not grape. It's lavender. Oh. Is this gonna be the mother of our daughter? You know, a lot of people like to write it off as some old lady flavor, but it's subtle. I love lavender. Delicious. Tastes like someone touching you for the first time. Okay, do I exactly get those vibes? It just feels like, you know, I don't know. It has depth, like a rose. <sighs> oh, Jesus, that's a lot of... Um, that's the worst <laughs> thing I've ever put in my mouth. Oh, that's sweet. That's horrible. Um, we gotta ask your mother. Oh, okay. So, like, maybe, like, adopted, like, you know, he took her in. That's so sweet. Mm. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank mm. God. I'm so confused. Okay, they're already together. <laughs> they would. They were doing that thing where they're like. Okay, we should Pretend that it's like the first time they're meeting. Hey, what is this? A bit of a costume change for you, Mr. Howard. Ah, uh, okay. I don't care, but I like it. I don't care what they are. I enjoy it. They even made it in your color. Let's see if it fits. Okay, Janie. Okay, Janie. Oh, I wonder what happened to his daughter. And his wife, partner, person, I don't know, I don't care, they're all cute, and it's kind of hard to see. I mean, it's hard to see all of the world, now that it's... <gasps> oh my god, hard to see that too. <laughs> Jesus, she really... Oh. Yeah, she took a clean off. Well, fair dinkum. Well, that darn vault girl down sort his fucking head off. <laughs> I know that's what you're thinking, it, and in that accent. Oh! I thought she was gonna put it in a bag! Maybe. Did I not- did I imagine there was a bag? Possibly. Holding by the hair, I feel like... Yeah, that's not... I thought we are gonna just pop him in a briefcase, take him out, take him with us. Maybe. Is this where Moldo Moldy Moldy Bitch is from? <laughs> I forgot her name. Moldova? Moldunda? 
<gasps> Is this a tracker? Amazing. I didn't know our little wrist thing would have such like cool little devices. Oh, up the nose. I guess no one's really checking him for things when he's just ahead. Spine doesn't bug. <laughs> like, I feel like, I don't know what the wrist thing runs on, but I feel like it couldn't be solar powered because they all wear them in the vaults where there is no solar. Also, can you survive without sunlight? Fuck. Yeah, step away. Do you have good combat experience? From the armor. Oh, at least some of them ran. <laughs> Get this shit out. Okay, out of all the people that I would be scared of there, it wouldn't be you. Nice. Oh, why you- you can't just run for the armor, you won't get inside it. Yeah, blast him. Okay, you gotta keep the end of the glass and then stab. Aren't you guys trained in, like, combat? Oh shit, never get on the ground. Number one rule. Once you're on the ground, you're screwed. Find his no. keepers? Oh. You... I don't like you. I don't like them all. But I really don't like this leader. I don't know, he... He's so, like, unthreatening and, like, little piece of shit that he doesn't deserve to have that bravado. Like, the big guy? Yeah. I'd be like, I'm a bit scared of him. Like, I wouldn't... Do I want to, like... Mess with him? No, not at all. But the guy that's fucking talking the shit? Okay, you're gonna have to run straight into it. And then hopefully kill him. I'm here for it. I wanna watch you step on his face. Ooh. Maximus. Ooh, you don't look too good. Ooh. Good job, effects department. <laughs> oh my god, get something and just ram it through one of them. Oh, you should put it in the fire for a little bit, just for some extra fun. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, he's like a knight. But also, that's <laughs> the um, toilet thing is what he hit before. He's really the toilet guy. Maximus, lord of the toilet. To hide this I'm ready to watch him die. I try to make there's yes. Wrong. Nice. Big guy's out. The rest of you're fucked. Oh no! You can't just keep going after one. Oh, Maximus. Oh no, puppy. Oh, Maximus, you're fucked up. Hopefully you could just, I don't know, turn around, jump in the armor. Oh, I'd want to rip his tongue out. <gasps> yes! That was fantastic. I loved it. Oh, I hated him. I feel good. I feel good. I feel happy. <laughs> well, how is his sock so clean? There's a lot in this world that I don't understand. <laughs> like, how they- Some people are, like, really dirty, and some people have, like, kind of very clean clothes. Control the wasteland. Oh. And, uh, we are to kill whomever stands in our way. I wonder what the other countries in the world look like. Because this is just very America, you know what I mean? Like, I wonder what everything else looks like. Because I think I read a bit of information. Apparently the the war was between possibly, like, the US and China. And, that, and it destroyed the whole world. But, like, I've always got to wonder, how's Australia doing? Like, how are we doing? You know, we're pretty far away from things. Surrounded by ocean. I don't know. I want to know. I'd also love to see a world map of this world, to see what it looks like from, like, space. 
Wow. This is kind of pretty. <laughs> you know, sad about all the destruction and death. Uh, but kind of pretty. Oh, I'm sick of all these scary- Oh my lord! No, she's- <laughs> Nice, nice shot. <gasps> the head! That is ours, you piece of shit. Will it fall asleep eventually? It got tranked. But it didn't work on ghouls, so like, would it work on... Giant, abominable creatures? Oh, and her Geiger counter's going off. Okay, or not. I thought it was like saying, don't go there, radiation. What? Brother, the head's in the water. Rise and shine, everyone. Your catered snackables have arrived. Oh, the fact that they get like fed so well. Do we have enough food? Okay. I feel like, I mean, Eat your fucking heart! I feel like, yeah, we've got enough food now that a lot of our people are dead, but like feeding them, I don't know, it's like treating them too well. Right, your fucking head open. I'm just saying, if they came in, like, I get it, humans and stuff, but if they came into your like small sim, they're wasting food. In this sort of economy? No fucking thank you. I'm just saying if they come in and kill everyone you know and love. Torturing a person. Don't do shit. <laughs> He's like, I ain't doing this for no torturous reasons. I'm gonna catch me a big one. Torturing you, sweetheart. I'm using you as bait. Yeah. <laughs> Gone fishing. God, it's clear water. Here, gobbles. What was it called? A guelpa? <laughs> A gulpa? Ooh. Holy shit. Is he gonna jump in and murder it? Oh, oh, don't like the look of that. Holy shit. Pull her out. Oh, I hope she got a good breath. Oh. oh my god, it's a giant axolotl. With creepy finger mouth. Ew. Okay, blow its head up. Oh my god, sir, you've got the big cannon gun. Shoot it. Oh my lord. Oh. Ghoulie, get up before he takes Lucy away. We it's it's like Loki kind of cute. Oh my god, he ate her shoe. At least it doesn't have really vicious teeth. <sighs> okay, Mr. Ghoul, sir. You fucked that one up. That was on you. All you needed to do was shoot it in the head. That is the gentleman who showed me his butthole. Yes, oh. what I took from that is a desire to communicate. What? No. Natural divide. That's a spark we can work with. You're an idiot. I'm so, like a really sweet person. The most ethical solution would be to rehabilitate the prisoners and That's then integrate them into our vault society. It will not work. Okay. Yeah, babe, you need to kill them all. That will happen overnight. Based on what I saw this morning, it may take years. And that's all the food that we have to give to them. Can't do when we set our minds to it. Yes. Yes. Oh, no. Where's our little uprisers? I don't think it's our job to help these people. They're murderers. They didn't know any better. And yes, they did. Norm, buddy. The hard truth is we can't just let them go. No, that's kind of 
your pick. The hard truth is killing them. So what do you propose we do? Kill them you all. You done us. You're right, you know. Fuck yeah. He, he'd do the right thing. Amen. I love her. Justice for Patsy. <laughs> I don't know what her name is. That's the vibe I get. She didn't deserve her husband to die or her eye to get taken out. You know what I mean? Like, they... But then there is that small part of me that's like, well, Moldova doesn't seem... Mold, moldy bitch, whatever her name is, doesn't seem like she did... She does anything without a purpose. So what was the purpose of going down there and getting the father? Because she needed to get into Vault 33. And he knew her. I figure like he might have been outside before. Night of the Brotherhood of Steel. Get back to shore. But sir. Go. Yeah, he does have a, you know, provide assistance from the rear. Okay. Why did you shoot when you can't even see it? Oh shit. Oh, that looks sick. That's so... Oh! Nice! Okay, now... Now we have to pull that thing back away from him. Come, Maximus. Maxititus. Oh! Oh, he digests slowly, I remember that. Remain, don't be alarmed. Remain calm. Ooh, it's so gross. Oh, you're really gonna maybe try and kill it first? What's happening? Ew, they're fingers. I saw- Oh, I saw the head. Oh my lord. Well, at least you've got your legs. What happened to you? Radiation? Something like that. No, I'd love to know how one becomes a ghoul. The immortality interests me. Maybe not the lifestyle that comes with it, but I don't know. You got shot a bunch of times, and we've never even addressed it. Thank you, man. thank you very much. Oh, this. Uh, thank you. This suit is tight. This thing really block radiation. Oh, does it? Oh, is that what it does? Doing um, God's work here, and uh, on behalf of every decent American, I just want to say thank you. Yeah, I don't know if they should be thanked. Yeah. Well, okay, here we go. Well, I'll bet you I'm a gonna be a big star. Oh, so this is like promotional stuff. So he was kind of like the vault guy. Like everyone knew him probably as the vault person and he didn't even get in a vault. And all I gotta do is act naturally. <laughs> Got it. And that's obviously why they were like, do the, do the thumbs up at the start. Okay, so he is kind of like the face of vault Tech for everyone, which is really scary and interesting. And kind of adds this other layer, like his connection. Everyone has weird connections to the vaults. I still want to know more. I want to go back in the vault. That whole thing, I don't know, like letting them live ethically, morally, like... Whatever you can say doesn't apply for our real world and our values and our morals. And that's kind of what they're going for. But they don't know the realistics of their world even. Because they live in a separate one to the, the, the wider world. And especially now that at least they all know the water's broken. And they've only got two months not including the prisoners. Like that's 16 people. That's a lot. And they're feeding them, like, proper meals, which is, like, great. Like, they're lovely people and they have all these values. But, like, always considering that positive and 
that spin I feel like is is really hard to do like in a in a utopia like a utopian society is that that's what it's called where everything's like the uh, the ideal um you know yes everything works but like we wouldn't even be in that situation because in that sort of like fantastic society there is no problems but there's always going to be problems and some problems need hard solutions uh which you know sucks it would be great if everyone could be happy all the time and everything was cool and dandy but it it never is it's just not it never works that way it's never that easy um and I feel like they may figure that out sooner than they have to. Or not, but I would like them to. Uh, other than that, really cool. I want to see where Lucy and the ghoul are going. Um, and what Maximus does with the head. Because I don't want the head to go with the Brotherhood. Because I don't kind of trust them at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'm just excited to see where it goes. Again, um, every episode is just adding more and more questions and intrigue for me. And it makes it even better. So I'm having a great time. I uh, can't wait to get to the next one. But for now, I uh, hope you enjoyed. And I'm having a great day. And I hope to see you in the next one.